Uh, it's a beautiful morning, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, I'm pleased to, to be here and give you a few words for the opening of the uh, Eurasia PEC Force Asia Pacific Workshop in Seoul, uh, Korea. I would like to begin with my offering my sincere thanks to all of today's speakers. In particular, I would like to say welcome and thank you to Mr. Ube Basem Baha, right? <laughs> Sorry. Uh, first counselor and deputy head of delegation of the EU to the uh, deputy head of mission delegation of the EU to the uh, Republic of, the, of Korea. Uh, we are grateful that we have taken the time to join us and to give us your introductions to FP7 and details of its ICT work program. And to all our guests today, I also extend my thanks. I'm confident that this workshop will be of great interest and use to your own research and I ask that you make your own contribution to the information collected as a result of this project by offering your individual insights and opinions. I see this is at the very core of Korea's modern economy and Korea is now globally uh, recognized for excellence in many ICT fields. Semiconductors, mobile communications, and display technologies and their related software are just a small number of the areas in which Korea is leading the world in research, development, and application. But while Korea maintains a very high level of investment and human resources in ICT R&D, international cooperation has become increasingly important in order to maintain sustainable growth in, the, in this sector. Since 2009, MK has been actively supporting and promoting a Korean industrial technology environment in FP7 projects. Indeed, for 2011, MK has a delegated fund of 1 million euros for the direct funding of uh, activities in FP7. At first glance, this appears a relatively small amount. However, this money will be used for the support of domestic organizations in two ongoing projects, both in the field of ICT. And we expect a third ICT project to be added later this year. Alongside this direct project funding, this budget will also be used for the support of 20 feasibility studies selected from an expected field of around 50 applications. This funding will support Korean organizations to travel to Europe and to network and identify cooperative partners for future FP7 proposals. MKE has been supporting Korean activities in international cooperation support project with the EU, including this Eurasia PEC project. We fully expect that this project will be of a significant help to the ICT R&D collaboration between Korea and EU. And with other countries taking part in the project, like Australia, Japan, and New Zealand. Through this uh, project and the cross work of the partners' organizations, we will be able to get a more detailed pictures of the areas of a common need and interest for future cooperative development. It is my hope that this project will become a springboard for the expansion of the network of ICT researchers 
from this nation, and for the identification of future projects within FP7 and other international cooperative programs. Thank you very much.